Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 8.51 a.m. Central Time on Friday, August 31st, 2012. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. You can see it, 7.6 magnitude struck in the Philippines right here. Down here to the south, you have New Guinea. Up here to the north, you have Japan, just to give you bearings, China being to the west. Now let's go ahead and get the stats on this. 7.6 magnitude, original was 7.9. It has been downgraded by 0.3. However, it is still very sizable for the region, and the depth, 21.7 miles deep. So when you take a look at this, it was relatively shallow in comparison to what it could be. It could be at multiple hundred kilometers, instead uh, at 21 miles. So there you go, large earthquake again this week. And I say again, let me just take you back a couple days, Central America, 7.4 magnitude, and at the North Pole, 6.4 magnitude. Also, multiple earthquake swarms. When you see this large stack of earthquakes here going up into the Virgin Islands, and then you see a huge amount of earthquakes here in California, and in the Central Point, right at the 7.4 area, a swarm there as well. Now we see again, 7.9, downgraded to 7.6 in the West Pacific. And let me just go ahead and turn it down for the full seven days here. And you see the multiple 4 and 5.0 earthquakes in the West Pacific that built up to this large earthquake here. So overall, let me just give the Earth a spin here, and you can take a look around the entire planet, see this huge amount of activity that's occurring. I mean, it doesn't even fit on the map. if We can't fit it all even on there. When you see this kind of movement occurring, multiple 7.0s in the same week, North Pole earthquakes and even South Pole earthquakes, 5.0s down here to the south, 6.0s up to the north, hang in there.